Are you thinking about moving to Delray Beach, Florida, but you're not really sure where you should live? And maybe you're wondering about price points or what the market is doing. Stick around, because that's what I'm talking about today. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your Florida realtor, right here in Delray Beach today. And we are talking about the best places to live in Delray Beach. Delray Beach is one of the hot spots in Palm Beach County. People love to visit here, but what would it be like to live here and where should you pick to live? Well, we're gonna be going over that today. And if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Florida and in Delray Beach, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video because it's pretty much all I talk about. My team and I love helping people relocate and educating people on the area. We get calls, text messages, and emails every single day and we absolutely love it. But we can't help you unless you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. Now let's get into it. So Delray Beach is an amazing city to visit, to live in, to play, to enjoy. And it's obvious people want to do all of those things because we have so many visitors every single year that uh, either they snowbird here, they come in for the winter, or they're buying like crazy in Delray Beach. It's always been somewhat popular, but I would say in the last five to 10 years, it's really, really exploded. The city has done a really great job in development and making it very, very enjoyable for people to live here and people to come and visit. So it draws a lot of people into the area, especially on, in the east. And so the main drag is named Atlantic Avenue, if you've never been here. And on Atlantic Avenue, all the way east, closest to the beach, I would say east of Swinton on Atlantic Avenue is where you're gonna find all of the downtown action. There are restaurants, there's live music, there's shopping, there's proximity to the beach, there's some hotels, and there's lots of artsy kind of places to enjoy either going to have some tea or having a drink or even having some kava or kombucha. So there's all types of different things that you can enjoy. You can do yoga outside or enjoy a sunset or even the moonlight on the beach. You can of course go to the beach during the day. There are a couple of waterfront restaurants on the intercoastal waterway. But what you'll find is people are very active. It's a very vibrant and robust area because of the downtown atmosphere. And I think people are drawn to it because although it is a smaller kind of beachy town, it has a little bit of sophistication to it. And it also kind of feels like a small little city. So it's quite unique in Palm Beach County and in South Florida in general. Hey, that's pretty good. I think it's grown so well because also the proximity to a really beautiful beach. So the beach in Delray is gorgeous. People love it and you can just walk across the street from the beach and grab some dinner or grab some lunch or whatever and then go back to the beach or just take your things and walk up the avenue just for a stroll, whatever it is that you'd like. It is a very golf cartable area if you're in or live around the downtown Delray Beach area. So you will see a lot of golf carts because there's lots of back roads and for the most part, the speed limit is around 30 to 35 miles per hour in the neighborhood. So it makes it very, very golf cart friendly. And we even have, you know, some fancier ones that you'll see around town. And people that live in the downtown area, they absolutely love that lifestyle because they can just leave their cars at home and hardly ever get on the highway and scoot around Delray to enjoy everything it has to offer. Now, when we talk about areas to live, of course, we're talking about the hottest spot in Delray Beach and maybe possibly one of the hottest spots in Palm Beach County. So the price point obviously has gone up 
and there are a few neighborhoods that I want to show you on the map here. There's one that is the Lake Ida area. That is mostly people that are looking for single family homes. Lake Ida is really known for its estate homes. They have large, nice lots, a variety of different types of homes from colonial to ranch to modern to country style to Key West vibes with some of the newer developments. So you really find a variety of homes there which gives the neighborhood a lot of character. Now, this is not a gated community. This is not something that you'll really find much of in East Del Rey. There is one new development. It is called Del Rey Ridge. It starts pretty high in the millions. It is gated, but it's kind of catty quarter to the end of where the Lake Ida area ends and Lake Eden starts. And then if you go a little bit further than that, going north, you will find the Chapel Hill Boynton Beach area. Getting back to Lake Ida, it's not gated. It's very family friendly, but then there's also singles that live there and some retirees as well. I would say for the most part, it's really more geared to like families that want to live in the downtown area and have like a ranch home or a two story home for their family and their children. <laughs> Home sweet home. And then there's other areas, of course, up and down north and south of Atlantic Avenue. You'll find anything from condos, townhomes, little cottages, older little homes in the Del Park area that have been renovated or not renovated. So you'll find some almost historic homes with lots of vegetation and greenery. Some of them are like overgrown and maybe need to be landscaped, but it is an area that is full of character. So you don't always know what you're getting, but as far as your neighbors, you are getting an incredible location. And that's why people decide to live in this area. I've helped several people move into the Delray area. I know it like the back of my hands, especially the downtown area. And some people want to be able to go for a jog and hit the beach or go on a bike ride and be able to go to the market or one of the green markets here or go up to the avenue when they're having art festival or any kind of music festival or what have you. There's lots and lots of festivals that happen in Delray Beach because it's a very art friendly city. Are you finding this information helpful? Well, make sure you give me a like and also share this information with anybody you may think that is looking in the area. It helps my algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Art has been like a main focus of Delray Beach and artists in the local area since the beginning. Actually, you won't find any like financial institutions or big office buildings or anything like that where people are coming into Delray to work, which is funny because Delray East, at least the downtown area is really not for like working. It's really more for fun, pleasure, enjoyment so therefore you have a lot of fun things that you can do here okay so some updates on the downtown area in delray beach the delray market place in the downtown area that is kind of changing over they're like reconfiguring that i think they might be putting some more anchor restaurants or i'm not really sure what they're doing i think it just wasn't doing very well i think the developers kind of knew that that might happen what i've heard is that they kind of developed it knowing that it may change so they're working on that but recently in the last few weeks, we have had the Atlantic Crossings development open, which will have several different restaurants, luxury apartments, and also, you know, there's a couple banks in there and retail and all kinds of, of great things. So I have gone to Le Colonial, which is like a French Vietnamese restaurant. That was awesome. And tomorrow they're opening Hampton Social. So that should be a lot of fun. So. A few more restaurants coming into the area. Not like we needed any more restaurants. We have lots of restaurants here, but it's always great to have choices. And again, that's why people are drawn to this area. There's also a new golf cart shop that opened up and that you can rent them and you can buy the golf carts there. So that's a locally owned and local spot. So that's cool. Now, as you move into the middle area in between the east and the west, of Delray Beach, you'll find more older developments, scattered single family homes, some gated, some not gated, townhomes, condos, and you'll find a lot of 55 and older communities that are within the east and the west. They're kind of like in the middle. I'm talking about like High Point, Polo Trace, Kings Point is another huge development that has a bunch of little condos, like one ones or two ones or two twos. And they used to be super affordable. Everything used to be super affordable. Everything has gone up.
money, please. My money. Now, as you continue going out to the west, there has been an incredible amount of development out there too, off of Lions Road and Atlantic Ave, and then further off of 441 and Atlantic Ave, you'll find newer developments, I would say in the last five to six years max, and then some that are just finishing out. There are newer homes, and those are really more geared towards families, again. So you're gonna get more for your dollar. The further west you go, you're gonna get newer construction, you're gonna get neighborhoods that are more gated and A-rated school zones, which you're not gonna find that so much in the east. If you live in the east, you're probably gonna have your children, for the most part, go to a private school, especially like in the Lake Ida area. But out west, they are geared for A-rated school zones. So that is definitely a plus. There are also a lot of developments. So even though you're about 25 to 30 minutes away, if you're living all the way west, 441 in Atlantic Ave area, there are a lot of developments that have gone up. So you can go out to dinner, you can go to the movies, you can go have some enjoyment, especially on Lions and Atlantic, there is the Delray Marketplace, which is a newer development that has restaurants, retail, and fun things to do. More and more is being developed out there, so there's a few other little shopping plazas that are going up that are built so that people don't have to go all the way east. They can either go to that area or go further down into the Boca Raton area, which is right down the road on Lions Road. That helps when living out west so that you don't have to go all the way east. You can spend time around your neighborhood, especially during like the busy weekdays, and then maybe spend some time east or downtown or at the beaches or going out on a boat or what have you on the weekends. There's plenty to do. There's all kinds of parks all over Delray Beach, Boca Raton, Boynton Beach. And living in South Florida, you really can live in one city and be like, honestly, sometimes 10, 15 minutes away from a neighboring city to the north or to the south of you. Even if you want to enjoy Delray Beach, sometimes you can buy a house in Boynton Beach, which is further north, or you can buy a house in Boca Raton, which is further south, but still enjoy everything that Delray Beach has to offer. Now, if you're looking for an older condo or townhome or villa, we have those choices as well. It really just depends on what your price point is and where exactly you wanna be, and also where are you in your life? Are you buying a primary residence? Are you buying a second home? Do you want to Airbnb this purchase when you're not using it? So there are a lot of variables. I get a lot of calls also on people that want to buy a condo in this area and then Airbnb it when they're not using it. That's not really common here. Most of the condos definitely do not allow Airbnbs and a lot of them, most of them I would say, the majority of them have a one year or two year restriction as far as rentals. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out. I'll be happy to help you with any of those things. And I also love doing Zoom so I can share my screen and show you exactly the areas I'm talking about and the type of listings I'm talking about. But in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see, or maybe an area I haven't covered or you just have a question about, make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because I've got your back when you move to Florida. And until next video, I'll catch you later. If this is your first time to my, okay. And bringing the, and educating people in the, on the area. And educating people, you can go to a,